Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Ingrid Jones. And welcome to another show. This is with this is for the Nathan Cleverly versus Jurgen Bremer fight. That is with us tomorrow night, live, I believe, on Sky Sports. Nathan Cleverly's back. I saw Jurgen Bremer. This fight should have happened five years ago. Um, five years before maybe Nathan Cleverly had met um Kovalev and Jurgen Bremer from what I believe is still unbeaten this fight there's a lot of things about this fight that they're question marks how good actually is Jurgen Bremer how much has Nathan Cleverly got left if he goes to points can Nathan Cleverly actually win on points in Germany? Um, but how good is Nathan Cleverly? I've, I've, this, this is another thing. How good is Nathan Cleverly? It's a question you've got to ask. Because, okay, he's been beat by, he, he beat Tony Bellew, just beat Tony Bellew, and he did well against Morat. But who's the biggest name Nathan Cleverly's beaten on his record, to be fair? You could say the same for Jurgen Bremer. For me, first of all, let me take it to you from Nathan Cleverly's point of view, or for what I see from Nathan Cleverly. How much has he got left? That from Farah fight was a punishing fight. In my recollection of seeing Jurgen Bremer, I've never seen Jurgen Bremer get beat up. I've never seen Jurgen Bremer get knocked out. Um I've seen Jurgen Bremer dominate fights. I've seen Jurgen Bremer out of box guys. But I've seen Nathan Cleverly get beat up. I've seen him get knocked down. I've seen him get knocked out. I've seen him get taken, dragged back to the corner. I've seen I've seen him get beat up by Tony Bellew and destroyed by Kovalev. Okay? That second fight he had against Bellew, right? But he bounced back from that and he had the Fonfara fight. But even from since the Kovalev fight, Nathan Cleverly hasn't been the same fighter. Yes, I know he's he, that fight against Fonfara is good. But you go back and look at Fonfara fight, he took a lot of punishment in that fight. And they've got to change Nathan's name to Nathan not so cleverly. Not so clever. Because he's a guy that throws five or six punches, maybe catch you two shots, and then the guy will tuck up and then he'll stand right in front of the guy. And let the guy hit him back that's not clever that's not clever at all and see cleverly uses hand speed and movement okay but if you're allowing guys to land three shots to your body landing three shots to your head of course you're going to tire now there's a lot of bad habits nathan cleverly's got himself into uh, with this new trainer as well i don't know what this new trainer is going to do for him when he's fighting at world level now you've got to say bramer is world level i think bramer's world level anyway his amateur pack background is pretty good how many guys he's really beaten at world level well that's still you know yes he, has, he hasn't had that real marquee name i guess cleverly would be his marquee name should he beat nathan cleverly it's always puzzling me about jürgen bramer why jürgen bramer has never made that had that marquee fight why he never went and fought stevenson why he never fought kovalev most people would say, well, the reason why he wouldn't fight a Kovalev or Stevenson is going to get blown out of the water. Why he never fought Bellew? So that was the three light heavyweights that he, he could have fought. But anyway, nonetheless, he's fighting um, cleverly now. Craig to cleverly, he fought the biggest puncher in the in, in the light heavyweight division, a bit Bar Bar Stevenson, and he didn't fare too well against him. I don't think Cleverly can fight any other way than how he does. And that's a problem right there for Nathan Cleverly. Um, the Fanfara fight, again, there are things about Cleverly that don't make much sense. And I, I explain. When Cleverly's got you, when, when Cleverly might throw two good shots at you, and then he throws four or five shots. If you watch him, he does this thing when he does his punching. It's like he's working a bag. But their punches don't are not effective punches. They're the sort of punches that that a guy, a fighter, will tighten up, tuck up with, wait for you, wait to see what you're doing, and then land something heavy over the top. And 
Cleverly's got to make his punches count in his fight against Bremer. He's got to make every punch count. count. These flurries, not hitting the opponent, they're not effective. So he does a lot of, he wastes a lot of punches, Nathan Cleverly. For Jürgen Bremer, he's got good hands, good hand speed. He's got good hand speed. Got good straight, uh, straight left hand being the southpaw. Um, is, um, puts his punch together quite well. Um, he's typically German, reliable, you know. Um, doesn't do anything spectacular, but doesn't do anything that does everything very well. Has a good chin, good boxing ability, puts his punches together well, good engine. He can do the 12 rounds, good punching power. Um, Cleverly's not a puncher, uh, but Cleverly at times fights like a puncher, but that can't punch for me. I suspect that where from Faro is catching him, I believe bremer has got the power to actually stop uh, Cleverly, as opposed to where from Faro was more clumsy with shots i thought uh, i think bray will put his punch together better i think he'll get uh, another thing cleverly gets hit a lot over the top of the right hand i think that's straight if, uh, if that straight left hand starts to find a home on cleverly early it's going to be problems for cleverly to win this fight against Bremer, and he can win the fight because he's got the tools i'm not sure he's got the boxing brain he's got the tools though what i mean by he's got the tools three four punch combinations get to the sides Three, four punch coming get to the sides up close tie up bramer don't allow bramer to let his hands go frustrate him that's how he's got to fight bramer because if he if he allows brain to start landing punches if he stands in the if he puts his hands up and he's got a very annoying habit cleverly of just standing there right in front of his opponent and put his hands there and if he lets great bramer start to unload three four punch combinations as he does like bramer does then that's not good especially in germany He's got to start fast. He's got to put his punch together. They've got to land. He's got to get Bremer's respect, or Bremer's going to walk straight through him. I'm telling you, Bremer and Bremer is heavy-handed as well. Okay, he's fought some good guys. He's got some good. He's got good chins. I rate Bremer. I've always. I don't get me wrong. I like Cleverly, and he's got the ability to win this fight. But I'm not sure about two things. I'm not sure again about his boxing IQ. So he's got to stop standing in front of Bremer and allow Bremer to tee off at him. That's the first thing. And I'm not sure about his trainer. Question marks his trainer at world level. It's okay having a guy at the gym allowing you to put punches together. It's all right you with a guy that that's gonna that's gonna get you in shape, keep keep fit, get you in shape. But when you're at world level, you need that little bit extra game plan and strategy. And I I've never seen Nathan Cleverly box to a strategy. I've just seen Nathan Cleverly come out and box the same way every single fight. And I don't think at world level, unless you're unique in terms of your, your big punch, really, really extremely big puncher. Or See, the thing with Joe Kazaki, a lot of people don't give him credit for, is Joe Kazaki put his punch together, but Joe Kazaki gave you angles. He didn't stand right in front of you, didn't pull straight back from punches. Joe Kazaki gave you angles and good footwork. He was a thinker, he could adjust on the fly. Cleverly can't adjust on the fly. It's either works with cleverly or it don't work with cleverly. So those are my thoughts on this so far. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a real shame really um, that cleverly at this stage of his career hasn't learned to be adaptable. And I don't think he'll be able to adapt again in this fight against Bremer. Macho as well likes to take a couple of shots. But when you're hurt, instead of you tuck up, tie up on a hold no you want to be macho you're all the bolo punch and all that stuff it's all macho stuff and it's the sort of stuff that it gets up like bremer who's consistent and walk you down he's the kind of guy that has the ability to stop cleverly and i think in my opinion probably hits harder than from farah now we'll have to wait and see there but if he does the same stuff against uh someone like bremer I think Bremer will outwork him. I really do. Down the stretch. I really do think. Down the stretch. And if you look at the Fonfara fight, cleverly did tire. So I think down the stretch, Fonfara is going to get cleverly. I really do. Anything after round eight, 
onwards, that's where I think Bremer's actually going to take control of this fight. And and see them wicked shots to the body that Bremer likes to plant. Those when, and when when cleverly standing still like that, those are where the body shots are going to break cleverly down. I see I see actually Bremer um, breaking cleverly down round by round by round and uh, catching up to him any anywhere after eight catching up to cleverly and putting punches together because brain will still be consistent and he's done 12 rounds like closing his eyes so i expect brain to i really want cleverly to win this fight and i really wanted to prove me wrong but i don't i don't have a lot of confidence in his trainer although nathan does and uh i don't have a lot of confidence in nathan cleverly's IQ in boxing IQ, um, and uh, I just wonder how much he's got left. Like I said, the Fonfara fight, he's getting beaten up in the Fonfara fight. Is uh, it was a good fight, he's getting beaten up on Fonfara. He got beaten up by Bellew. I mean, just he was just taking punishment. You can't just keep taking punishment in fights, and then you saw what happened get him against Kovalev, you know. Cleverly doesn't make his fights easy, so I'm going to go with Bremer in this one. I actually think Bremer's the fresher guy coming into this fight as well. Because like I said, I haven't seen Bremer get bashed up the way Cleverly's been. So, um, and I think in general, I think that as flashy as Cleverly is, I think Bremer's a better boxer. Sorry. Um, I wish I could say, yeah, I think Grip. Cleverly's brilliant. He's great, but um, I, uh, I I'm not sure. Sorry, I can't give you any sort of confidence in this cleverly fight tomorrow. Like, like I said, if he pulls it off, brilliant. Another world champion for the UK. Um, but um, I don't see. Sorry. Um. um Marky B S says go. Kilgrid says England. What the f? Off topic. Cocaine isn't hard to test positive. Cocaine it lasts for only so long. Cleverly will push forward. Bremer interim is experienced. It'll be a good fight. It will be. Um, Kilgrid, sorry. Hello, good to see you. Thanks. No problems, Kilgrid. Uh, Thomas Box. Joey's great. Yeah, he's a great fighter. Definitely. Uh, Jerry Docks three six nine nine says, "Is cleverly fight tomorrow? Fight tomorrow? I believe people, it's tomorrow night. What is it tonight? Well, it must be tomorrow night because if it's tonight, I would have missed it. Tomorrow, thank you. Uh, the bad guy. You're not going to talk about Tyson Fury. Well, I think I will. At some point, I'm going to talk about it. Good subject, Tyson Fury. T Tyson Fury needs to get a grip." Grip end of uh, his ear look awful after from far fight. Yes, I agree with you there. Uh, Nathan Box makes a very valid point here. Cleverly uh, peaked early in his career. He did. I agree with you. Uh, Jerry Doc three six nine nine. Cleverly is lacking power. Ingram, you're a legend. You have to talk about Tyson Fury. Well, sorry Nathan. Um, yeah, we've got to talk about Tyson Fury because it's um. It's interesting. The story beforehand coming up to this week was he failed a PED test, performance enhanced, enhancing drugs test. Okay. Now this week, well, end of this week, Tyson's now been done for cocaine. I would say cocaine's a recreational drug um i can't say whether tyson took a recreational drug or not it's not for me to say that and wherever the wherever tyson is at the moment um you know what, what can i say i mean i can't sit and say to you i have the answers to this what i can tell you and uh what i can tell you is that If he did take the coke, I don't know. I really, I don't. I, I can't really answer this because 
when you talk about performance, performance enhanced drugs, and then you say coke, really? When you say, look, this guy took this these drugs to make him fight better, I just, I just, I just, I don't believe it. In terms of for 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 his fight against Klitschko, I don't believe he's taking drugs that sense. But I do believe, or I do believe, um, it's possible for any fighter. To, I don't know Tyson that well to know what he does in his personal life. I don't. I really don't. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I can't. I, I don't know what Tyson does in his personal life. Um, yeah, that's the thing there. You see, for for the coke, for the cocaine, I can't. I honestly can't answer that one. But for the, but for the PEDs, I'd be a little more confident about. For the coke, I can't. I can't answer that. It's like you asking me if. If a guy smokes weed, he gets caught smoking weed. A boxer gets caught smoking no weed. What are you doing their personal time behind closed doors? Is it's really none of my business, and I don't think it's any of any anybody else's business as well. So if Tyson does do that behind the scenes, <laughs> I mean, uh, if that was the case, and he was, it, and it was coke, why is it only now they're revealing it? If he was a if he was Tyson's a coke kid, wouldn't that not have been revealed a lot sooner? I just, I don't know. Ah, I don't know. And the sad thing is, the, the sad thing about this is, the man's not even, the man's not even here to defend himself. I mean, Tyson's even around to say, you know, this crap, or this, this is it, or this ain't it. So it's just like, the world is just talking about a man that's alive and not well with us at the moment. Uh, and and everyone's got their accusation and all these people are saying all these things but until he himself comes out and says you know what i didn't do it or i did it tyson's a straight talking man that's the thing i just i don't know i really don't know i really don't know but i tell you one thing i tell you one thing for sure and you don't have to rock and size to work this one out if klitschko can win the belts without fighting tyson fury he'd do it because I don't think Klitschko believes he's going to beat. I love Klitschko. I thought he'd beat Top Fury. He made Fury wait so long for that to, until Top Fury became mandatory. So then he had no choice but to fight Fury. And I remember Fury telling me the the week the fight was announced that he was going to fight Klitschko. I rang him up. He was in the middle having a meal, and I said to him, "So why do you think you're going to beat Klitschko? I told you already I'm going to beat Klitschko. I told and he told me why I was going to beat Klitschko." So I followed this man for a while. And he doesn't come across as a guy who take PDs. I mean, this is a guy that was taking, eating kebabs and all sorts. And then his uncle Peter came in and really changed Tyson's whole fighting style around. And um, I just think if to find a way to strip Tyson of his belts, then I think that it'll be for the the um, unified belts. So the WBA, the IB, we've got the IBF. He's got just got the IBF, the WBO, the IBO. All those belts put together, and so they got all the belts there. And then the winner goes on and fights either Wilder or the WBA champion. That's how it seems to me. I'm. I, I'm I'm sickened by it all to be honest. I'm sickened by it because it's like all my time, all the time I had on Twitter is about Tyson and crack and cocaine and and and, and PEDs and did he do it? Didn't he do it? I think he did it. I don't think he did it. I'm sure he did it. Nobody knows for sure. Newspapers say he did it, but God, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know the, the cocaine bit i'm more I'm more peed off about because that's somebody if he did it it's in his personal life like i said before it's personal i don't think that should have anything to do with his boxing and okay 
if the coke's in his system when was it in his system when did they find the coke in his system i don't know whatever however it looks to me tyson didn't play ball he didn't play ball so if you can't play ball then there's a thing called character assassination in this world so um Oh, nobody, nobody. I, I don't know for sure, but you know there are people who run with a story even if it wasn't true. Okay, so I have tried to make contact with Peter Fury to see what's going on with it all, but I can't see any more than that. And and if I were to turn around and say, "Yo, well, I think that I, I, it's not right, it's not fair," so I don't think it's over for Tyson. I really don't. Um, my concern this minute in time even if it's, I, at this point i couldn't care less if they strip tyson because i still believe strip him or not i still believe he's the best heavyweight in the world by country mile i think he's still the best heavyweight in the world strip him or not and then when he comes back if he comes back in the right frame of mind and healthy and well he'll beat all the other heavyweights i'll tell you something if he retires and he comes back in a year or two he's gonna make a lot of money a lot of money a lot of people will pay for that rematch they'll pay him to come back and and, and tackle the, whoever's out there um so let's see what people are saying in the room ian bill says uh take away coke and coffee and the world stops <laughs> just ask all the bankers does Tyson need help? I don't know. I haven't spoken to him. Um, will you get um, Keymaxes? Will you get Asky on anytime soon? Really enjoyed the last interview. Actually, I will do. I will have Asgar back on on Sunday. Chill out time on Sunday. And we'll talk about what happened in the dressing room of Vladimir Klitschko when Asgar went in there to change the, to check to make the wraps make sure the wraps are tight so that's going to be a great interview there and i certainly want to talk to him about his gym in um his academy in uh, east midlands at boxing academy so those of you who don't know about asgar he's got his own gym in uh, i think it's a derby it's called the east midlands boxing academy check him out he's doing some fantastic work with those young people in there but he's having a lot of problems there at the moment because one of the biggest problems is the fact that everyone believes because he's connected to the furies that they're funding it and they're not so the gov the so the local governing bodies and the, and the council won't help pay for it so he's having to pay money out of his own back pocket which is really unfair really and the guy's a really good guy but you know um he needs help definitely i think he was asking for equipment the other day so hopefully when he comes on he'll tell us tell you more about it so sunday look out for that um Apparently they can't strip him for it. I hope they can't strip him for it. I really do. I, I hope it is. I hope it's true. I hope it's cocaine. If it, if it's that they found, if it's that that fine. Again, because 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 I believe it's a witch hunt. They'll throw anything, and they'll find anything that find it will stick. And when it sticks, people believe it. So, um, Tyson's been bullied. I feel, mate. Don't you? Um, yeah, I think so. What are your thoughts on Billy Joe Saunders' defence, Ingram? I think uh, Billy Joe better be careful he don't get clouted in his first defence. <laughs> uh, Billy Joe better get out there. I don't know why the man was waiting 15 months not to defend a title. He needs to get out there, box, put in a good performance, and then look to fight whoever is a recognised name in the middleweight division. The winner of Danny Jacobs, Gennady Golovkin, there's a good fight there. A Curtis Stevens, please no Rosado. Um, a Eubank Jr. a rematch. For God's sake, I don't want to see him fight Rosado at any point in time. I don't know who Billy does for boxing. To be honest, I ain't bother looking at boxing. I have to look on YouTube. Um, Team Fury obviously knew they knew something, but we don't know what they knew. Just headlines take away real news. That's going on. I know. What's going on, man? What's it gonna going to be? Who gets the belts? AJ beats Klitschko. 
you know where your mind is. Uh, Tyson beats him every day of the week and twice on Sundays, of course. Kilgrey says it's effing hard to test positive for coke. Um, are you okay, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. A little tired, but I'm okay. It's midnight. Uh, totally disappointed. Kilgreed says, you, you can allegations, I understand, is from 2015. I think Peter Free spoke about those allegations, actually. Drugs are a part of life. It's the government's fault. They're the biggest drug dealers of them all. I agree. Who AJB that make you think he he's good? I I was not agreeing with that person that said AJ would be pitch go. As he's a good guy, he trains people with special needs for free. I know, I know. And did you know from what I from what Asgay was saying, they turn the water off at the gym. I think that's an illegal move as well because uh, as long as you've got people with special needs in the gym, you can't be turn you can't turn those facilities water facilities off like that. I knew he would beat Vlad, too tall, unpredictable, fierce, and a mind screwer. I picked Tyson to win. No worries, he can pick it up and move forward. I hope he. I hope to see him fight in the future. David Price shape. You see it. Bad shape. Price is in. David Price. Who is here boxing this weekend? Is Price what is Price boxing this weekend? Okay, I didn't know he's boxing this weekend. Um, Alexander uh, Govitz fights. Uh, uh, as it chilling but to get Adonis Steve to fight. Okay. I think he'd beat chilling but to be honest, probably. Um, BJ, Billy Joe Saunders rejected Rosada as he wanted a top fight, so then he rejected GGG and, and instead eyes on unknown rank 32. Absurd in my mind. Yeah, maybe absurd in your mind. It'd be even more absurd if he gets knocked out by him. Rosada, bum. Who's Jimmy, Jimmy, Billy Joe's box? Who's Billy Joe? Billy Joe Saunders. Go box wreck him. Um, uh, the bad guy. I have to put respect on your name for your honesty. <laughs> Lower checker versus Walters, November twenty-six. You see, the one thing I like about his number, uh, the one thing I like about his Lower checker Walters fight, Walters hits hard enough to stop Lower checker in his tracks, and, and actually, he's got enough power there. But I think Lower checker. Uh, Lomachenko will be moving around Walters and may make it very difficult for Walters to land on him. Walters, Walters gives me the impression he's one of these guys that can be boxed quite easily. And he, so we'll have to see how that fight works out. But Lomachenko's skill should overcome Walters' power. I don't see Walters out boxing Lomachenko, so you've got to think Lomachenko points, Walters knockout. Oh, he's fighting on the Cleverly undercard, okay. Price is fighting a 20 20 30 bum. Okay, thank you, Copendo 9. Is Price a bum though? Okay, so so those are my thoughts on the Jurgen. Price is fighting a guy with 22 wins and 30 losses. Pointless fight. Oh, one of those ones. Price rejected Dave, Dave Allen. Thank God. Dave Allen wanted to fight David Price. I love Dave Allen, but I'm sorry, I couldn't agree with that. Um, uh, Izu is a talented prospect. He should TKO Gregory mid rounds this weekend. Yeah, I like I like Gregory. I like him a lot. Okay, I got some news for you people. We have we're I'm in talks at the moment with Simon Brown's people, the former uh, WB, I think it's, was it WBA or WBC um, welterweight, former welterweight champion of Simon Brown. This is not a guy for the casuals. This is a guy for guys that really know their box. And Simon Brown was one of my favorite, favorite fighters in the welterweight division. Simon Brown knocked out um, terrible Terry Norris. So Simon Brown, I'm talking with him, I've talked to him to try and get him on the channel. Loves Simon Brown. Brilliant welterweight fighter. Real good fighter. Um, second thing. It looks we're moving one step closer to getting that interview with Showtime Boxing's um, Brian Custer. So we're looking forward to that as well. Um, do you see Tyson recovering from everything that's going on and returning to boxing? Um, honestly. Is 
this is going to have to depend on how much damage has been done to Tyson. Um, Notorious Box says, Peter Fury knew too well Tyson was on gear and coke. I can't answer that one. I can see you being as big as I feel in the future. Thanks, but no thanks. But I, I understand your points, but I, I don't I, I um I don't see us going in the direction I film to be honest. Big respect to them, love what they do, but I don't see us going in the direction I film, so um you must be blind if you can't see a cokehead. Well, I don't actually walk around with cokeheads every day. I'm associating myself with cokeheads. So unless my wife's a cokehead, I don't know. I, you know, you get an eye for certain things if you're in a certain environment, you understand? Like when I was in the nightclub industry, I could tell the ones that were on it or not, those weren't on it. All right? I, I could tell certain things when you're in the nightclub industry because you're in that environment day in and day out. But I think cokeheads. It's not a day-to-day -day thing of my life around co-kids or you are co kids yourself then yeah you know another co kid but i i don't do coke and i well coca-cola i do and i don't know any co-kids and um again i'd be surprised if tyson was on coke i really don't i would be um would joshua versus price be bigger pay-per-view Fast than Bellew Cleverly. I actually thought the build up for Bellew Cleverly was brilliant. I just didn't think the fight would live up to anything. Conor Ben, how great is he? He's not. Um, if Tyson comes back, he won't be the same and will get beat. But he might not be the same. That's the thing. You know what? You're a bit boring, uh, Beverly. So, uh, you know what I'll say to you? It's been really nice having you. In my room but you overstep the boundaries so you'll no longer be welcome in this room or on this channel go and abuse somebody else Ingle, do you think Crowley's on the juice his physique is, is a lighter weight pac-man I, I i will say what this i will say this much about crawler I find it absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing that, and I, I don't want to, it's not speculation, it's just an observation. Crawler, before he got whacked over the head and had that injury, he was a pretty average fighter, best. Right? I remember watching Anthony Crawler fight um, Gavin Reese. All right? I'm going, you know, tooth and nail Gavin Reese and all the defeats he had in his record. And then after the injury, he's ended up being some world-class fighter. And I'm like, well, if getting whacked over your head makes you a world-class fighter, then a few fighters we've got in Britain need to get whacked over the head. Um, exactly, and we well said, good evening, Rafferty Don. Nice to see you in the room. Um, thoughts on Danny Garcia cherry picking again. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'll keep on saying it. Danny Garcia is not the same fighter since the Lucas Matisse fight, Matite fight, Matisse, Matite, whatever. He's not the same fighter, and people keep overlooking what I'm saying. He's not the same fighter. Tell me, since Danny Garcia, what's his best performance since that fight? Danny Garcia should be like that. He should be, at this point, he should be a superstar. He should be a global superstar, Danny Garcia, for boxing. But he thought Matisse was like that, and then he just gone bang like that. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Let me get this camera back up. Let me stop back in the camera. Am I in the camera or not? Yeah, I'm in the camera. Um... Tyrone Nurse, yes. If somebody's got a contact for Tyrone Nurse, please. I'm I'm packed with interviews at the moment, but if you can get Tyrone Nurse on, love to have him in the show. Um, 
who has Garcia agreed to fight? Has it been announced? It will be some guy like uh, what's his name? Not Molina. What's his name? I can see the guy now. He fought the other day. He beat. Oh, he's tall. He's lanky. He's been on PVC before. Mexican American. I can't remember his name again. He's a waste of space to fight him too. Uh, did you hear about Pac-Man drug using comments as a teenager? What can you say? Uh, could you ever see Peter getting fed up of Tyson not training and focusing on Huey? I can see Tyson giving uh, Peter giving the rollicking out. He said, listen, you know what I expect of you? See so you ship up or you, or you piss off out the gym, one or the other. And I can't have you messing around and you being half-eyed. All right? You give 100% or you can piss off. I can see Peter giving him that sort of talk, but I can also see Peter putting his arm around his nephew and saying, hey, what's going on? So it's, and Peter actually did say that Tyson walked out the gym. So we don't know what he's going through on a personal basis. I think Tyson needs to do what Lennox Lewis did. Tyson needs to do what, what Ben did. Tyson needs to quit the UK. He needs to reset up camp in France or set up camp in Ireland or set up camp somewhere else. But he needs to leave England, quit England and set himself up in France or some other European country if he can't make America. Or set up camp or even set himself up in Canada. But he needs to leave the UK. I'd quit the UK. Personally, I'd quit the UK. Well, I'd quit the UK, but I would quit the UK personally. Oh, uh, Ingram, do you like Ty Tyan Booth? Thoughts on him? Not much. Don't see him box tonight. Sorry. We'll check him out. And the next time you're on, I'll, I'll check him out. Uh, Tyan Booth is an absolute weapon. Wish Eubank Jr. bashed him up worse. Okay. Um, indeed, Rafferty, you're good, mate. Uh, Joe Gallows lost all world champions in his gym. That chin down, hands out, wait for an opponent. Tire tactics have gone up in smoke. You heard it here. For, you heard it from me, yeah? You heard it from me. You wait until Cal Smith steps into anything near world class. He's going to get smashed. See that body of his? It's going to get absolutely taken apart. You wait. Wait and see. You hear it right here. He's going to get taken apart. Cal Smith ain't all as cracked up to be. I ask yourself the question, why in all of Cal Smith's career, he's never actually faced a puncher? Go ahead. Talk to me about it. Danny Garcia versus Crawford is a good fight. Not going to be made. No chance. No chance that Danny Garcia won any bit of Crawford. Um, how pathetic is it while there's profiting on Twitter over tight Fury's downfall as if Fury's downfall changes the fact that he's only got one genuine fight in his own career and four dog shit defences? Well, I think uh, boxing fans need to protest or just turn up, not turn up to see him fight. Patrol versus Garcia. I don't know who Patrol he is. How do I find out when you're doing a show? Simple, easy, uh, easy uh, go. I think what you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel and you'll get uh, you'll get an inbox that'll let you know when my next show is. Um, what is your favorite fight for 2016? Favorite fight? It's gonna be Andre Ward Kovalev. Uh, I'd quit UK if I could. Daguerre will take Smith out. Groves or Smith? Groves. I don't think Groves got the greatest chin in the world, but I don't think Smith's got one either. Someday with Groves. Oh, by the way, thank you, David Thomas. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell, and that lets you know when a show is live thank you for that ah i've got some exclusive news for you guys really exclusive news you heard it here cleverly points 10 to 3 i'm all over that like a tramp on chips yeah i don't think should. cleverly's gonna have to box extremely well uh and i don't think he can i just think he's gonna get nailed at some point 
Um, he's not very clever, cleverly. He's going to sit in the pocket at some point, and that's where I think Brain's going to nail it. And down the stretch, their body shots of Brain was a no joke. Uh, Gail Smith, too, who wins? I think the Gail Smith, too. You mean Paul Smith? Oh, Smith beats Groves late. I don't think George Groves has the stamina or punches as late in fights, especially against a decent punch in Smith. I don't see the fight going the distance. I don't see that fight going late either because both like to engage. I don't think Cleverly has enough talent or boxing race to make it, but I respect him trying and I hope he comes out. It's okay. I do too. A um, couple of things to talk about. Uh, we've lost a, a young fighter in boxing today. Young gentleman by the name of Mike. Is it Mike Lowell or Light like so well? I don't know much about him. I just heard that he passed away after a fight. I don't know how much more about that. I know I, I don't know too much about it, but uh, I think the guy's Mike Towell or Sowell, something like that. Somebody can tell me. I'm sure can give me. But um, rest in peace. It just shows you how brutal the sport of boxing is, um, and any fatality connected to boxing, any fatality period is is, is terrible. But um, a fatality to boxing it just kind of rings home the importance of referees mike towell oh he's, a, he's still alive according to lifefights.com because i've seen people doing a lot of rips across twitter so if he's still alive then wishing him all the very best and speedy recovery if he's still alive thank you very much for that mikey my apologies but i kept seeing it over twitter that rest in peace mike towell so best wishes to mike i hope he does pull through um yeah does so anybody want to give me any more information about the mike to well situation oh the exclusive i wanted to give you is that there's going to be a new belt in boxing yes there's a new belt in boxing it's going to be called the legends belt yes the Legends belt has been created because they feel um, this Legend belt. Yeah, this is an exclusive. I, I, you know, give me some more information. Do you want to hear some more information about this Legends belt? I'll get it for you. Let me get this info for you because it's... Uh, can't find it here to my other account but anyway it's the uh, it's, it's called the legends belt so that new belt is going to be uh part of the world of boxing so uh that's something for you boxing fans to look forward to you got some good info in, info in them. yeah i got sent the info i can't see who got the information from because that would be putting me in some trouble but actually, would you like me to go and actually find out more information about the belt? If you give me a minute, I'll get you some real juicy information about the belt. Let me let me get it for you. Give me two minutes. I'm gonna, well, not two minutes. Give me a minute or so. Right. Because I want you all to know more about this belt. So you can go and tell people about the Legends belt. Whatever next, huh? And I'll tell you what their vision is going to be for world boxing. Okay, yeah, let's get the article up. Okay, I, I can't read it all out to you, but I can tell you some of the information. Okay, the actual name of the belt, people. So you can put it down and uh, 
Get ready for it. That's the one knows. Ah. That's the one knows. Ah. Yeah, right. The the name of the belt. See. You want to hear the name of the belt? I'll give you the name of the belt for you. Right. The name of the belt is called. Get it right. Write it down. It's the Legends Boxing Federation, the LBF. They are set in the process of creating a set of rankings that will include those boxers that meet the qualification for ranking and set show interest in fighting for the LBF titles. Okay. So it'll be a world championship belt. The LBF will sanction the best of the the best of the best boxing from for the world, national, regional, intercontinental, continental youth, international titles for male and females. The LBF will enforce its rules and regulations to protect all LBF champions and its ranked boxers. The LBF will rank those boxers who show promise to bring professionalism, honesty, and clean pound for pound boxing to the sport. Wow. So there you go. There's your exclusive people. The LG what they call it called again? Legends boxing basically. So that's a new belt. Uh modern broadcasters, idiot newspapers are reporting he's dead. It's discussing prayers with or with him. It's a bad knockout. Okay, thanks for that. Appreciate that. Would you like to see Bermain Parker Bermain? No. So yeah, there, that's some thoughts. Yeah, the, the Legends Belt, Legends Boxing Federation. We'll see what we can do on that. Danny Flexen of Boxing News said Mike Sewell is alive but in a bad way. Reports he died were apparently false. No more belts unless it's the main belt, LGBF. Says Peter Perkins, yeah, that's a new belt that's been released. So you hear it there. Okay. You know what I don't understand? I've got somebody who's just disliked my channel or disliked it. Why do people find it so people have got I've got some sad people on, on, on my channel. I'll tell you how sad they are. They will just put they will just dislike a video or dislike something before it even comes up. Why are you disliking the video? What's the point? It's so stupid. Don't make a difference anyway. I'm not going to stop doing what I do because you dislike it. Yeah. So there you go. The that's the new belt that's out uh, in world boxing. Um, yeah. Now this interview I've got lined up with Brian Custer. Any uh, any thoughts on any 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 you know who Brian Custer is? So there will be a Legends belt and the Ring magazine belt. Which one of those will be the boss? Do you reckon? I think the Ring Magazine is going to stay for a while to come yet. Yeah. Be a nice touch if the Legends uh, gave the Legends Federal Boxing Federation gave the belt to Tyson. Eh? Do you know here's something else we need to think about? Um, yeah, I was going to ask those people who watched the show last Wednesday, Wednesday night, our live show. What do you guys, guys and girls, think of the new format of the live show? Our correspondents, Bo Bland. And Emily Pandalakis, the fact that we're bringing on a promoter onto the show. Um, just, I want to do less talking, if I can, and bring on more people that know what they're talking about. I think it's most important that you've got people for Bay Loric moving forward as T Bay Loric TV boxing channel. I think it's more important the vision of the channel is to promote fighters, promote bouts, promote events, and give people in boxing the opportunity to come on and have their say um so i want to hear what you guys think because this is a great opportunity tonight for me to go back 
to have a think about it, to see what we can do to make adjustments. I like to see new faces, makes a change from the mainstream PC stuff. Yeah, of course. And then we had Bermain gave us his, uh, his pop check team to let us all know that um, that he was unhappy with Eddie Hearn and then disappeared. Bermain versus Eddie Hearn. Yeah, I suspect we'll have a few more of those. I think, don't think Bermain's going to be the last one, that's for sure. Um, Brian Custer is one of the better boxing presenters around the world. Well, Brian Custer, thank you, Delboy94. Brian Custer is a guy that, in terms of boxing presenting or pre as a presenter, I've got the utmost respect for. And I guess you've got to have aspirations or visions to, to people you admire. And he's one of these guys that I admire. So I admire him so much. Um, I spoke to Brian up yesterday, last night, and today. And we will be doing a, I think we'll do a Skype interview, but I really want to get Brian on the show on Bayloric TV so you and I can talk with him. I think I really am working hard to develop some, uh, develop a, a boxing station or boxing show once a week that is different. Uh, Steve Barnes criticised YouTubers for doing a better job than Steve Barnes criticised YouTubers for doing a better job than him for less money. Aha! He basically told Boxing Nation what changes need to be made. Well, I remember talking to uh, Alfie Warren, part of Box Nation, and Alfie, if you're watching the show, shout out to you. Um, you need to move with the times. That's what I think. Definitely need to move with the times. Uh, Ingram, do you think Joshua Klitschko is going to happen? Yes. Uh, Box Nation is a great product, but doesn't have a supreme bullshit to like Eddie in front of it. Yes. Well, again, for those of you who don't believe me, Eddie Nation, Eddie, Eddie Hearn looked at me, and within the first 30 seconds of doing that interview, so he was a bullshitter. That says it all. Uh, Ingram, are you doing the Dusseldorf show on Sunday? Dusseldorf show on Sunday? What's the Dusseldorf show on Sunday? Sunday. Do I rate Max Kellerman? Bunce mentioned in Vladimir is probably fighting the 10th of December in Hamburg. I don't know about that. I never understand why people come on and try and give it the big one because they always get removed. Oh! Bye. Um, I don't know. Do I rate Max Kellerman? I rated Max Kellerman until HBR had a little whisper in his ear and told him, Max. You can't be speaking too much truth on this show. You need to be buddying up with uh, Jim Lampley. Uh, is Berrettkin versus uh, Stavern on? I believe he's on, but they're just waiting to negotiate contracts. Box Nation needs to profile their fighters better. I agree. Box Nation's content has been poor lately. Yep. Loser stream, Dusseldorf of Asgi. Um... What I do know about Aski is that he's going to be, he's, he's got some guys fighting, and then after that, he's going to come and have an if He's going to chat to me before or after the show. I don't know that much. So, yeah. Um, what was I saying to you? Yeah. So, back to the show. What do you guys What do you guys think of the show? What's the size behind a glass jaw? Do you think David Price will ever be able to compete at world level? The size behind a glass jaw is so some people's the nerve. It's some people's nerves are exposed, and if their nerves are exposed on the chin, well, that's where they, they and you can get that shot on the chin early uh, uh, on the nerve. They've got a weak jawline, and there are other guys that I think the nerve is is protected by the bone. So I guess that's why they've got a good chin. I don't know. That's what I heard. I don't know how true that is. Uh, will Price be able to compete at world level? Yes, I do believe he can compete at world level. He's got one of these. A big right hand. And that right hand could take out any heavyweight in the world. So, i put it this way. If Price were to land on Wilder's chin, would you bet against him knocking Wilder out? If that right hand landed on Wilder's chin, 
Price has got a world class right hand. I want you some confidence. Uh, Malinaji and um, the Kellerman are excellent, brilliant analysis when they're honest. Yeah, when they're honest. When they're honest. What is your take on Canelo versus GGG? I think Canelo has has a very good opportunity to beat Gennady. And I'll tell you why. I think if Canelo is able to walk Gennady back, if, if, if Canelo can walk Gennady back, keep him on the back foot and put pressure on Gennady, he can beat Gennady. And I'll tell you why. Because it seems to me Gennady is most effective when he's moving forward. When his momentum is moving forward, when you've got when Gennady's hunting you down on the front foot, that's why I think Gennady is a power puncher and most effective. He gets most momentum in his power. I think when you're pushing Gennady back and you're making him fight at the back foot, I don't think Gennady is as effective. And I think you've got to push him back. And I think Gennady, I think Canelo will be big enough. I think he'll be strong enough to absorb the big shots. Look, you look as when Canelo Brook came up two weight divisions and was able to absorb Gennady's punches for the most part. So Canelo is naturally bigger than Brook. Should be able to absorb it absorb the punches a lot better and so i think uh and he'll be able to land heavy punches himself so i think canelo stands a great chance against Gennady personally and he won't be intimidated by him either what do box like what does box Nation do about all these cancellations lose a lot of money uh and uh if you run you run up stamina which strengthens the brain true story okay thoughts of matt leg not not many not much uh they lost the code they fight to sky quite a few subscribers are happy about that well michael prayer prayers versus pet petrov starts later on extra if you if you need a stream thanks we'll be sticking up for that i'll probably watch that on the highlights out of the door dog walk thank Thanks. Thumbs up, everyone. Great. What the versus Price battle of who hits for who first? I think so. I would, I definitely watch that fight. All good having a punch, but useless when you can't take one. I'd say Vladimir falls into that category. I'd say Thomas Hearns never had the greatest of chins. There's quite a few guys I knew that could never take a shot. Frank Bruno wasn't didn't have the greatest chin in the world. He became world champion. And with this, and the way things are going at the moment, if all these belts get split up. The chances of David Price becoming a world champion uh, become uh, greater. GG's defense is non-existent. When Canelo unloads, he can have a lot of success. I agree with you. Do you think Dave Calder will make a big difference? It's all gonna. It's all gonna matter. No matter what Dave Calder does, it's all gonna matter what happens when Price is in the chin, gets hit in the chin again. Uh, Popo says, you Fury beats Price, hoping what goes on doesn't affect Hugh's mindset. I hope so too. What do I think of Dem Demetrius Andrade? He's a bad man. I love him. Yes, Price's defense is woeful, but he isn't skilled enough to hide his chin in the way the lad does. Juicy Tyson probably fits in the whole camp. You often hear how he's the man who lifts everyone. Well, I think... I think the boss, Peter Fury, is the key behind that. Paddle doing the pads of price. How does that work? Good question. How do I rate get Dave Caldwell? You can't knock him. Well, he's got Tony Bellew. He's got one of the McDonald guys. He was in the corner with David Price or David Hay. I, I think the time. I think Dave Caldwell and David Price. We have to see how they do when he's in a good fight on pads on sticks <laughs> that's quite interesting i like that one i'd love to see how that works out, actually i really love to see how it was joshua klitschko klitschko okay back to my first my question earlier on about the show five dislikes you know there's a hater on the channel you definitely know there's a hater on the channel tonight oh it's probably one of the guys i blocked that's what it is How do you rate Belly as a cruiser? He's okay. He's okay. But um, he's not the best cruiserweight in the world. And he, might, he might tell himself he's the best cruiserweight in the world. He's not the best cruiserweight in the world. Because he's got to get past Alexander Usyk. And I don't think he'd be either. But 
I think he's a I think he's a good fighter. Not the best in the world. Uzi, Uzi will put his fist through and he bury you. Oh, I think so. I think so. Can belly talk all he wants. He's best. Let's see how let's see how belly does against uh, this gentleman. What's his name? Um, what's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? BJ Flores. We'll see how he does against him. Back to my back to my question earlier. I was asking. What do you people think in terms of the show? How what how do you think of the show? What do you think of the show format? And for the yard from Forest Gate. It's from my neck of the woods. Um check out Benny's on a death row at Cruiserweight, to be honest. The, the division is stacked with full of killers, I agree. So tell me how we tell me what you thought of the show last week. And the two correspondents we've got from america i want to talk about that a minute because that's how I'm, that's where i want to go before i finish the q and a's are the best part q and a's question answers okay okay that's bringing people in to ask questions yeah of course i think that's that's key look we'll we'll, we'll keep with that it's something i'll never disappear what else come on people talk to me talk to me How about doing the first UK calling show, Ingram? I called in the show once, and it was a lot of fun. You can take calls on Skype and a landline style number. Do you think Usyk will be undisputed champion? Yes. Answering our questions, right? Yes. I think I think I've, I've heard about this this uh, calling. Um, you change the setup here so that when people call in, you can hear what they're saying. So yes. Yeah, having a voice makes the listeners more interact more. Okay, cool. Uh, get nurse on the show. I want him to ask him why the hell he doesn't stick to a game plan. Okay, I caught your show on Wednesday. Seems like there were a few technical problems that hopefully you can iron out. Other than that, it's fantastic, mate. A few technical problems. Tyrone Nurse. Okay. Um, what would it do you remember what the technical problems were last wednesday no it wasn't me who had the technical problems actually it was uh emily it was actually somebody else trying to come into the show so yeah we need to definitely do something about that um uh so you're saying about having a, a, a phone in show okay egerton versus frankie gavin frankie gavin man that's not even i've got that's not even you need to say that you now. I'll put I'll stick a ten on it like Bansy would. Yeah, I'll stick a ten on it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, what have we got for you tonight on uh, Bayloric TV? What have we got tonight? We've got um, we've got we got Indy. Yeah, we've got him. We've got she got Bow. We've got Emily. We've got um, we've got Mikey. Yeah, yeah. We will just stick with us. Off to the break. We'll have um um um. I don't know what we have. We'll have to tell you what we have after the break, aren't we? So stick about. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we're um, You should get Matty Askett and Tom McCarthy on here fighting next month, and it's hardly been mentioned on the other sites. Get him on here. Uh, I, I saw Adrian go out and did a good interview with BG. But I think he's worth contacting. Okay. Just the sound and what his face, not being able to hear what you're saying, and vice versa. Not sure about that. Um, I think Alan could beat Price if they have a feet. He's got a very good chin and can expose Price's stamina issues. Adam Adam, Steve Lilly stripping. LOL. After the break. <laughs> yeah. Dylan White versus you for you. Who who's your money on? Huey, who's your favourite prospect from the UK at the moment? Prospect, prospect, prospect. I've got a nice list actually. But I need to change my I'm getting I'm getting my room redone, so um prospect, prospect. Anthony Yard and fighter. Anthony Yard. I like him because he's gone to the States already. Can Luke Campbell win a world title? Not the way he's boxing at the moment, he can't. 
I like um, Anthony Yard and I, and I like Liam, Liam Walsh. He's one of my favourite British fighters and he should be fighting at European or world level by now at least. Liam Walsh. Conor Ben, no. Conor Ben, you wait. Conor Ben, no. Definitely not Josh Warrington. Definitely not Josh Warrington. Definitely not Conor Ben. Sorry. Jake Ball. Jake Ball. Liam Walsh. Anthony Yard. Three guys that are right. Tyrone Nurse. What are your thoughts on Tyron Nurse? Fox News reporting that Port abducted him. I don't see that somehow. I like Tyron Nurse, but I don't see that somehow. Um, we'll have to ask Tyron himself, actually. What I'll do for you guys now, while I'm on it. Well, I don't run my Twitter anymore, but I'll send a message now, quickly. I've let somebody else run my Twitter now. Because I just got fed up, and it's like the other things I want to get on with now. So you can spend all day and all week on Twitter. Okay. Match offered a fight against Tyra Nurse. He watched footage of Nurse and then rejected it. Match even confirmed it. Okay, maybe they'll get it because they won't get paid enough money. The way it's a way to answer that question, I'll I'll get Kenny, I'll give Kenny Porter a call and find out what the situation is with that. That's what I can do. I, I don't, he did duck Keith Thurman. I can't see him ducking Tyrone Nurse somehow. Sorry. Eddie Hearn lying again, possibly. That one I would definitely say he's lying about. Highly doubt it. What? Yeah, what Eddie Hearn line or <laughs> Sean Porter Duck? Listen, I love Tyron Nurse, yeah, but I'm sorry. He isn't the type to duck. It's all about the money. I think he, he probably ducked Eddie Hearn's peanut. Uh please do it. <laughs> please do it again. I'd like to see what happens in the negotiations. <laughs> Listen. I don't want to kick off, and I don't want another guy kicking off about Eddie Hearn. All right, I, I don't want another guy kicking off about Eddie Hearn. I, I had two guys, I had Peter Fury kick off about Eddie Hearn. I've had, um, but um, Bermain Stavern kick off about Eddie Hearn. I don't want nobody else kicking off about Eddie Hearn. That's it. That was that was it. No more kicking off. Nobody caught anybody dickheads or. Or liars or bullshitters and no more. Uh, listen, I listen, I am not involved with it and I'm not getting involved with it. Listen, I just I, I just asked the questions. I said this is what has been said. Stern all Severn also kicked off over her and lowballing him and saying he didn't want the fight. Well that wasn't nice. Thurman versus Brooke at one one five four, great fight. Thurman will knock Brooke out now. Yeah, we've talked about Brooke it's Brooke, Brooke's can you get a four-man panel of, of Eddie Hearn, Bermain Sliver, Asgard, Peter Fury? You would strike thousands of <laughs> You are just pure wicked, Mikey. Pure wicked. Pure wicked. Pure wicked. No. That's pure wickedness. Um... Just trying to find out if there's any more. No, not yet. Thurman is the most exciting world to wear, I think. Yeah, I'd agree with you with that. So, so you, so you think the question and answers like, um, what do you think of our, uh, what do you think of the news coming through from America that we're getting? We've got Bobby Hicks coming next week. He's from Chicago. Uh, he's one of the most uh, successful. Do you like watch the boxing voice? Could you do a UK show style of that? I remember the boxing force before they got started. They came and spoke to me before they got started. Okay. Um, so I've known the boxing voice for years. And kudos to them. They've done really well. Um, possibly. But I don't see I don't I don't see us going that route, to be honest. As much as it's nice, Dave Thomas. Um 
as much as it's nice, I don't see us going that way. Uh, then, then dudes got ego issues on that show. Well, they get lots of views, they get lots of callers, they 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 are appealing to a certain tribe of people. And hey, good luck to them. I can't do them yank channels. Well, whether you like it or not, unfortunately, Bayloric is not an Amer it's not a UK product. Although I'm from the UK, Bayloric is American, and uh, that's the kind of road that Baylor could be going down. So um uh Wingy's the latest boxing voice refugee. It was inevitable. What happened there? Talk to me about Wingy and, and, and the boxing voice. I haven't I haven't really been up to date with Wingy for quite a while. It's quite obvious, but yeah, I've I've really, I the only people I, I get a chance to watch when I get a chance is uh, Hatman, Box Talk, um, Truth and Facts Boxing. Oh, yeah, had an argument Nez on here and they cut off early and they split afterwards. Oh, you're not allowed to describe Nez. See, thing is, the thing about that is, that if you if you if you're if you're based on hype, um, if you're based on hype, or your fans like hype, then you've got to keep on producing hype every week. And, and if you keep producing hype every week, then people are used to that. And then, uh, what happens with hype? You got to keep every week and stacking up and stacking up and stacking up and hype. So then you become a hype person yourself, and before you know it, boom! It can't sustain it. Can't sustain it. Sensationalism. You just, you, if you, if you're trying to follow sensationalism, you got to keep on constantly. Sensationalism. Just keep on, keep on, keep on, keeping on. Thing is, Wingy is a real guy, and I cannot imagine him falling out with anyone. Yeah, I like Wingy. He's a good guy. Good guy. I've spoken to him of late, but he's a good guy. A lot of respect for him. Thoughts on Hamer versus Tepper? Tepper or Beat Hammer? Which active boxer gives the best news? Um, I don't know. I really thought about that. Maybe George Groves. Maybe maybe George Groves when uh maybe George Groves when Carl Frotch is just across from him by the ringside. I think George Groves. Dylan White, yeah, I think Dylan White's entertainment, but his his performances outside the ring are not represent are not replicating inside the ring. He's spent less time trying to be a YouTube sensation than spending more time being a boxing sensation. Uh, Joshua V. Kuchko, anything after six, Kuchko KO. Dylan White's funny. Don't give him that. So, yeah, I actually tried. I did ring Oval McKenzie. And when I tried to interview him, uh, he wasn't in the best of state. He was upset because the fight against him and Huck had been cancelled. So, that was the same day I spoke to Peter Fury and Huey Fury. What's up? Just got here. Nothing much. Just having a little chat. That's all with people just having chit chats about this and that. Uh, Billy Joshua has put up some hilarious videos lately. Triple G spot, ball rat, etc. I like Fury's Peter Fury to be honest, but Boston brain and calm attitude. Was it truth Orville was ill? Well, from the sound of Orville's voice, and his, I, he was so peed off. I don't know how true it was. What will he do now? 
cruiserweights. Let me think. I don't know what he'd do there. My source informed me that Eddie Hearn got chinned by Mick Hensley. <laughs> you wish. You wish. Listen, my channel is not anti matron it's anti bullshit. So if bullshit comes along and that's it, that's all it is. All will Mackenzie versus Craig Kent. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, have we spoken about Tyson and the Coke? <laughs> Not really. Who is the most beatable world champion out there at the moment? Anthony Crawler? Well, it's happened, hasn't it? Uh, Eddie's going, going to take one away in one day, God willing. Um, what are your thoughts on Fury and, uh, and cocaine? I don't know. I've never had cocaine with Fury, so I wouldn't be able to answer that question. And if it is something, if it is something he's done recreationally and behind closed doors, that's his business. Ricky Burns is beatable. Yep, look at his, his uh, professional record. All we should fight Shuman off. Yeah, yeah, I guess he could. I guess he could. Cruiserweights, right? What about Allville, McKenzie versus Usyk? First defense. Ingram, if you were if you was a boxer, which promoter would you sign with? Al Heyman. I remember at the beginning of the year this year saying it would be the year of the heavyweights. We have had Charles Martin take a dive. Fury suffer from depression and potential cocaine. While the fighter, I like Ingram's views on the coke thing. Look, fat bloke from KFC breaking his head. I think Rick, Rico will beat Burns. Wouldn't be surprised. What do you think of Orville versus Thatcher for the European? Um, yeah, make it if it can happen. Um, yeah, I look. I've never had. I don't. I don't do coke. I had, I've had Coca Cola. I'll repeat this before. I don't know Tyson's that way to say he, he did coke. If he did it behind closed doors, it's nobody's business. But if he did the coke while he was trading, and he's prepared to fight Kitchko, which I don't think he did. I really don't. But you got to make your mind up. It's either he uses performance enhanced drugs or he doesn't. It's either one or the other. Ogle was meant to fight off the lobby. That would have been a good fight. That would have been a good fight to watch. But I, the Coke thing, I just think they're just trying to find anything in the can that will stick. Ingram does heroin. Yeah, of course I can. Of course I do. Yeah, I do. I want heroin before I start the show. If that makes you feel better, Mikey. If that makes you feel much better. <sighs> this is not good. Anybody else got anything else to say before I decide to lock off for the night? Um, to be fair, boxing is very corrupt. There are a few cases of people being drugged this year alone. I know. The Freemasons, Framing Fury, uh, they probably are. But who knows? Nobody knows. But um, Pete Fury says he's not into conspiracies, but he's beginning to believe the conspiracy. Fury seems to have made some powerful enemies. Well, like I said before, it's when he comes to the other side of this. I heard Brooke does. Keita main, I mean, Special K, come on now. Special K. Okay, fair enough. I like that. Good one. Smart. I heard stories about I did hear stories about Brooke on that, but I don't know how true that is. I think they're gonna keep making more belts until even Rosada has one. I'm not convinced Fury's innocent. Well, when you use the word convinced and not innocent, that means you're convinced that he is guilty. If you're not convinced he's who wins? Ortiz or Charlie Edwards? Well, you know, of Charlie Edwards. I think uh, if he teams up with uh, the Ingles and they've got six weeks, so a couple of months, they'll uh, move up in weight and they might beat Luz Ortiz. Charlie Edwards got exposed. Yeah, well, he didn't get exposed. He didn't get exposed, Charlie Edwards. You know, the, 
the one of the ways to find it if Tyson really if you want to see if Tyson was on coke at any time if you really want to start doing research check out the nights that Tyson's been out on at boxing events not him being drunk now because he, he seems to like a bit of a drink in so often want to see Tyson if he, if you've got evidence of video evidence of Tyson being on speed right or he behaves in any way shape or form like someone who's been on speed now that'd be funny David Hayes a few times I've seen him talking and he seems like he's definitely on something because like you know there's everyone else around David Hayes you watch David Hayes carefully like uh, uh, like at the end of a fight you go to David Hayes see everyone else is talking quite quietly and he comes and says yeah that was a really good fight and yeah yeah you know yeah yeah no yeah, 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 yeah. like David so like you look at David and he's like right you want something because everyone else is kind of like on a mellow and you are flying high I don't know what it was what fight it was I saw David he was post fight commentary um Garcia versus Garcia versus Khan rematch thoughts Khan boxes the same way in every single fight you're gonna get knocked out the same left hook again you want to kill Khan or what have you seen the documentary Cow cocaine cowboys one and two check it out it's phenomenal well I'm not into cocaine I'm not a terrible fight stories about cocaine well, if you did it or not, it's not going to motivate me anymore to watch Cocaine Cowboys. Sorry. Right, Shannon Briggs. Uh, I think I I think that David Hay fought in his last fight was actually a drug dealer who deals under the bridge. Oh God. Right, I'm getting out. Of these these are getting ridiculous now. Right. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, so just to close, cleverly, I don't think he's intelligent enough. I think he's got the boxing brain enough to adjust his style. I think what we'll see with cleverly is a lot of bravado. I think we'll see cleverly do all the bolo stuff and and, you know, and all this sort of putting his hands in front of his face and then oh look, crap. I think we'll see a lot of that. And I think Brain's going to dig him with some nice body shots, and I think he's going to work him over. Uh, I'm looking for Braden to stop cleverly anything after seven, eight rounds. Slow down, and uh, he'll slow down. Braden was going to break him down and stop him around round 10 or 11. I don't see cleverly winning the fight. Sorry. As much as I love him to outpoint Brainer, I just don't think he's got the IQ and actually think that Braden is actually the fresher guy coming into this fight. um wh why does Bruno go on about billions when he's nowhere near that bigger well i guess it's just a catchphrase i think you know parker versus De or dimitranko let's hope parker gets rid of dimitranko then he'll go and fight joshua Arters according to eddie Hearn. like it um anything else i think that's about it i'm out of here people have a good night Thank you all for watching.